then uh, these doctors said I would have to have an angiogram. So I went down there to Victoria and they gave me an angiogram. And so this heart specialist was, uh, came in and he said, well, this one's unstopping, this one's almost unstopped. And so he didn't even come over to the bed, but the neurosurgeon walked over and he whispered in my ear and said, keep on doing what you're doing. So that was my first sessions with chelation. I, I think it's the most wonderful thing in the world. And you know, um, after the first um, chelations, I went, I started, see I used to be a dancer, so I started uh, doing ballet dance. So I could, uh, I could do just like all the young ones, and I'll be 76 next month, so, so um, I'm gonna get younger and younger and rejuvenate. Well, chelation has uh, given life to my age and uh, it's made me be able to do all my duties again and take care of I've got just a um, small estate that I can take care of myself. I could have had a heart attack or, or another big stroke, but now I'm, I'm back and I'm going to travel and I'm going to lecture. And they're trying to get me on the Oprah Winfrey program next July. <clears throat> From all that I've overcome, you know, Shortly after midnight on the 2nd of August last year, I took a heart attack, was removed to a local hospital by ambulance, kept there for six and a half hours, and uh, advised that I had a hiatus hernia. Uh, I didn't believe it. I'd had a hiatus hernia before. I felt it was more serious, but they turned around and released me from hospital. 18 hours later, I took a second heart attack. Uh, it was much more severe than the first. Turned around and went back to the same hospital. Uh, the reason I went back to the same hospital, I figured they'd have the records from the previous night and show any change of difference. Uh, at that time, there was a different doctor on staff, and he advised me I had a heart attack and I had had one the previous night too, which didn't make me feel too happy. I was admitted to the hospital, and uh, all what they told me about was, I've got to have angioplastic and uh, an examination like that. And they were going to take me down to Victoria, and I told them, no, they're not. I had read considerable in uh, medicines and uh, procedures, and angioplastic was not for me. Uh, they also mentioned a heart bypass may be necessary. I could die at any time. I didn't feel I was. Besides, I didn't have that much faith in a hospital that 50% uh, of the time, uh, they couldn't tell the difference between a heart attack and a hiatus hernia. So I was released from hospital without treatment, uh, turned around and made some inquiries to some friends of mine in the holistic medicine, and uh, was advised to go up and see a Dr. Klein up at 1808 Bowen Road in Nanaimo. Uh, I made an appointment, saw Dr. Klein, was interviewed by Dr. Klein, and was also given a thorough medical examination by Dr. Klein to satisfy both of us that uh, chelation would likely be the best situation for us. Uh, as it turned out, chelation uh, in my case, was extremely lucky for the simple reason Dr. Klein, on examining me, suggested I get a ferritin test. Ferritin would be for deposits of iron in the system. This I did, and it came back as positive. Uh, I had quite an abundance of ferritin in the system. Uh, sufficiently enough where under Dr. Klein's advice I turned around and uh, got a test uh, done down in the University of Michigan, uh, United States, which showed my ferritin problem was from heredity, from a gene they tracked through DNA back to my father. Uh, armed with that and the fact that I had a second ferritin test after approximately 20 treatments of chelation, uh, the ferritin had dropped over 200 units already. Uh, I feel chelation 
uh, has saved my life and saved me and my family a lot of aggravation. Uh, the reason why, if I had had a bypass or maybe angioplastic, I feel I'd be back in there every nine months to a year to have it redone because they were not turning around and rectifying the cause. They're only quieting the symptoms. Now they found out it's the iron. The iron's being cleared by chelation. I can get back to a normal life and after my type of treatments uh, that I'm getting here, uh, I feel everything is going to work out quite good for me because they're clearing the iron out of the system and maybe once a month I may have to go for chelation afterwards to keep the iron down. How does it work on a heart attack or two heart attacks within 18 hours? I think it works great. On the 11th of November of last year, approximately three months after the two heart attacks in 18 hours, uh, I was playing the bass drum with the Legion Pipe Band on the 11th of November. And uh, I've enjoyed it. I'm back to living a normal life now. And uh, I'd highly recommend it. The, the only thing that uh, I'd like to add is maybe if some of our politicians smarten up down in Victoria, they may suddenly realize that chelation can serve the same purpose and cure a lot of people rather than very expensive operations, etc. And as far as I know, any of the research I've done, I have never seen a fatality in chelation if it's administered properly. It's a hell of a lot more than a lot of the heart surgeons can say. My breathing is uh, much greater. Uh, my mobility is greater. And uh, strangely enough, and I don't know whether it's coincidence or not, but uh, I can read a lot of print now without my glasses that I couldn't before. But that's not the reason I came here. <laughs> Hello, I'm uh, Bill, and I'm a patient of Dr. Klein. And uh, I'm here to tell you that creation works, um, or I wouldn't be up here. <laughs> Makes you do funny things, I guess. Uh, it's uh, I got diabetes uh, quite a while ago, well not quite a while ago, about a year and a half ago, uh, they discovered I had diabetes and uh, in a medical exam uh, for an insurance company, uh, I guess they're the only ones that do a real good exam because they're, they're betting on you making it, eh? And uh, so they found it. I had been through a lot of medical examinations as being a truck driver, but uh, they never picked up on this and uh, the doctor did all the normal things for diabetes and within about nine months I had severe pain in the legs, uh, my kidneys were shutting down and he didn't have much hope for me. Things were looking pretty rough. Uh, he couldn't figure out why it was reacting so quickly and taking over so fast. Uh, he said these are things that we shouldn't see for 15 to 20 years. He couldn't figure out why it was doing what it was doing. And he uh, treated me with different things and tested me for cancer, AIDS, uh, a whole test, a bunch of tests. I uh, can't remember them all now, but there seemed to be quite a few of them. And I uh, still couldn't figure out what's going wrong. One time he says that, uh, quit smoking. That's what's doing it. That's what's making this happen so fast. So I tried quit smoking and didn't help. Things were getting worse still. And uh, he said, well, I'm going to have to send you south to see a, a vascular surgeon. and." Uh, they might have to amputate and uh, he was preparing me for that and sent me down to Nanaimo so that I could get in faster. While waiting to see about getting this done, uh, the wife noticed an ad on TV and it was she had read about creation in uh, medical books that uh, uh, she heard about it in Europe and the States and we never even knew it was in Canada so when we heard her about it on TV we phoned it up and thought we'd give it a try. And I went in to see the doctor and uh, we did a 10 treatments and uh, uh, the, did an iron test because he doesn't quit until he finds out what's, what he's after. Eh? And uh, he just keeps going until he finds out and uh, they found out it was high iron. And he did the high iron test and found that it was 475 I think and that was after 10 treatments. So 
I don't know what I was before that. And